So you may remember this. Broncos second string running back Capri Bibbs taken out of a game last month. This is against the Kansas City Chiefs after that brutal hit right there. You saw his helmet smash into the other player's helmet. It did not look good. He was down on the ground for some bit. Some sports analysts say the player who hit Bibbs really was not expecting him to go so low. Bibbs had to be taken to the locker room to be evaluated for a concussion. That just hurts watching that. Mm -hmm. Joining us this morning to talk more about these kinds of hits and concussions specifically is Dr. Cameron Sang. He's a board certified orthopedic surgeon. So, doctor, thanks for being here. Thank you for having we me. We see those kinds of things as parents. We're like, oh, but are, is there something we could do as parents to help prevent these kinds of injuries? So, concussions uh, are basically a mild traumatic brain injury and really prevention is the key but unfortunately when you're in contact sports such as football and hockey uh, it's very difficult to prevent that contact and, and really it's a brain injury that occurs from contact that causes a alteration in brain function and so part of what we can do to prevent and educate is to have fair play good education uh, good pre-participation examinations and physicals prior to the sport, uh, having a good uh, uh, coach-parent-athlete relationship so that we can all get on board and be on the same page, be on the same page. exactly. Yeah. You talked about kind of having kids checked out prior to getting in. Sure. We hear about the concussion tests prior to the season. Are they beneficial? Uh, so they act as a baseline and so if you have someone who is fairly accurate in their reporting of their test, then I think it's a useful tool. Okay. But if you don't, it acts as a relative baseline. So a lot of people probably say, oh gosh, I fell off my bicycle as a kid. I had a couple concussions. I'm fine. Sure. But there can be some ramifications from these, can't there? Absolutely. And the ramifications of concussions uh, don't come and manifest until 10, 15, 20 years down the line. So it's important to protect our athletes and our kids' heads now. Yeah. And what are some of those? I mean, long term, what can this do to a person? Uh, you know, there's some memory loss that can happen, mood changes, depression, uh, just not feeling yourself. So there's a lot of different non specific indicators of. Uh, brain injury and so we don't quite have a handle on how complex these are but we just have to understand that it's important to prevent them in the, in the, sure. in the now. You talked about that relationship with the player and the parent and the coach and that can get tricky because you know a kid doesn't want to get take, be taken out of the game. Sure. A lot of times the parents don't want the kid taken out of the game so they are like well he'll be fine and they move along but they need to take this kind of serious don't they? Absolutely and that has all to do with education and uh, whether you are a professional athlete or whether you're an amateur athlete, it's very important to kind of understand how serious concussions are. And this is when it probably is really important for parents to stand up for their kids, even if a coach saying, nope, they're fine, let them go back in. Still absolutely. Yeah, yeah okay. absolutely. Yeah. Right. Dr. Sink, thank you. Thank you. Good information. Yeah. We appreciate it. All right, Katie's got to look at our forecast.